Who is Dr. Edward Allred? Is this man America's most prolific serial killer? Is it true that Allred specifically targeted Hispanic and black children for violence? This movie right here claims that notorious abortionist Dr. Gosnell is the biggest serial killer. According to the BBC, Philadelphia's abortion monster has killed over 16,000 little boys or girls and was later convicted of several counts of murder and is serving a life sentence in prison. But could this claim as the biggest serial killer be challenged? I have mentioned Allred in several of my other videos, but in this video, we will focus specifically on Dr. Allred. On April 6, 1977, in Los Angeles, California, California, a young 17-year-old went to an abortion clinic to have an abortion. It failed. On September 9, 2015, Gianna Jessen testified right here before a House Judiciary Committee about the significance of that failed abortion. Let's hear the testimony from Gianna in her own words. My biological mother was seven and a half months pregnant when she went to a Planned Parenthood and was advised, and they advised her to have a late-term saline abortion. This method of abortion burns the baby inside and out, blinding and suffocating the child, who is then born dead, usually within 24 hours. And there should be a photo <laughs> there. Yes, this is what I survived. Instead of dying, after 18 hours of being burned in my mother's womb, I was delivered alive in an abortion clinic in Los Angeles on April the 6th, 1977. My medical records state, born alive during saline abortion, 6 a.m. Ha! <laughs> Victory. Thankfully, the abortionist was not at work yet. Had he been there, he would have ended my life with strangulation, suffocation, or leaving me there to die. Instead, a nurse called an ambulance, and I was rushed to a hospital. Doctors did not expect me to live. I did. The doctor who tried to kill Gianna was Dr. Edward Allred. At one time, Dr. Allred owned the largest chain of abortion clinics in California, which were performing 60,000 abortions every year. In an interview published here in the San Diego Union, Dr. Allred boasted he was personally responsible for over 250,000 abortions. Dr. Allred stated, we're experts in abortion. We've done it hundreds of thousands of times, and our places function just like we want them to. He stated that he was very interested in aborting babies of certain races, especially Hispanics and blacks. Population control is too important to be stopped by some pro-life types. Take the new influx of Hispanic immigrants. Their lack of respect of democracy and social order is frightening. I hope I can do something to stem that tide. I'd set up a clinic in Mexico for free if I could. Maybe one in Calexico would help. And when a sullen black woman can decide to have a baby and get on welfare and become a burden to all of us, it's time to stop. In parts of South LA, having babies for welfare is the only industry that people have. To help achieve his goals, Allred's clinics would advertise special discounts on abortions on Spanish TV channels and newspapers, but not in English-speaking media. We hear patients say they feel like they're on an assembly line. We tell them they're right. It is an assembly line. We're trying to be as cost-effective as possible, and speed is important. An assembly line of death. Dr. Edward Allred was a man whose goal was to take the life of as many babies as possible as fast as possible. He said that blacks need welfare to survive and he hated Hispanics so much that he offered them discounts on abortion and said he'd like to give abortions to them for free. La Sierra University is a Seventh-day Adventist institution nationally acclaimed for its diverse campus and its service to others. In 2010, La Sierra established a center in the business school to promote financial literacy and entrepreneurship, and they named the center after Dr. Edward Allred. You can go to the homepage here, click on centers, and it even says right here on their website that Allred's business of targeting children of racial minorities to be killed is, quote, the inspiration behind its economic philosophy. They even put a plaque on the wall which reads, this Adventist university wishes to thank Allred for supporting the school of business. His thoughtful generosity will forever be an example to our students, reminding them to make a difference with the resources that God has entrusted to their care. This man who has killed hundreds of thousands of little children is going to be an example to Adventist students forever. 
Killing children is honored as an example. Ripping babies to pieces for money is called entrepreneurship, and it is inspiring. This is sick. As you see here, the Adventist Review is the flagship journal of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Look here, if you click on Partners, Loma Linda University and Medical Center in California is the flagship medical and educational institution of the worldwide Seventh-day Adventist Church. And the administration honors All Red right here as the number one benefactor. And on the wall at Loma Linda is a list of distinguished ambassadors, and there is Dr. Edward Allred, ambassador, a representative or promoter of a specified activity. A man famous for his racist and for violently murdering hundreds of thousands of children is the inspiration and ambassador. Right here, the official stated mission is to continue the healing ministry of Jesus Christ. They have honored and chosen Allred as their ambassador and representative for the healing ministry of Jesus Christ. And you can see Edward Allred listed again right here. They actually honored him on top of the Hispanic supporters. A press release from La Sierra said Allred remains active in the Adventist Church. La Sierra University is just one of many Adventist institutions that have benefited from his blood money, aka philanthropic giving. Many institutions, here are a few more. You can see here that Monterey Bay Academy built a new library with donations from Allred, and at Glendale Academy, Academy, they had a special grand opening and dedication for their performing arts center, which was made possible by Edward Allred. Listen to this. The words thank you do not adequately express the deep appreciation owed to Allred. Thank you for investing in the lives of young people. They even pray, we gather this afternoon, Lord, to celebrate and dedicate to you the establishment of the Arts Center to be used in the education of our young people. We are thankful this day for Dr. Allred, who generously supported the dream and for those who worked tirelessly on the construction. Remember, this is the same Dr. Allred who said, I love to work very hard. I almost feel guilty when I'm not working. If I'm away more than a day or two, I get nervous and worried and I have to get back to work. This man feels guilty and worried if he is not murdering innocent children. I don't make this stuff up. It's right here, published here in the public newspaper. That's the proclaimed Adventist example and ambassador and inspiration. Adventist educators in charge of your children are thanking God for this murderer. But now it's going to get even worse. My Adventist church has a harsher stance against gambling than to abortion. Adventists have consistently opposed gambling as it is incompatible with Christian principles. It's not an appropriate form of entertainment or a legitimate means of what? Of raising funds. Edward Allred is the owner, president, and CEO of Los Alamitos, one of the finest horse racing venues in the country. Forbes magazine named Allred the biggest horse gambler. He took 50% ownership in 1990 and has since become the sole owner of Los Alamitos. The LA Times said Allred is the racetrack's biggest fan and its guardian angel. Hmm, it's guardian angel. Interesting choice of language. Adventist leaders at Loma Linda and La Sierra might try to defend his donations because he wasn't involved in gambling until later in life. Forbes magazine noted that Allred skirted expulsion from where? Loma Linda Medical School after buying his first racehorse when, while still in school, he was gambling even before he began a career in murder. This right here is the official position of the Adventist Church on gambling, and it states right here in black and white that the Adventist Church rejects gambling as defined above and will not, will not solicit nor accept funding that is clearly derived from gambling. Clearly, clearly, clearly. The definition of hypocrisy, the practice of claiming to have moral standards or beliefs to which one's own behavior does not conform. Dishonesty. But remember, this is the man who is supposed to be an inspiration, ambassador, and example forever to Adventist youth. Vomit. A few people have suggested that these are independent institutions, that these academies, hospitals, and universities are not connected to the actual church, or that the church itself would never, oh no, it would never be involved in this. Well, what can I say? Don't bet on it. Edward Allred is the owner, president, and CEO of Los Alamitos, one of the finest horse racing venues in the country, and the Adventist Church has put a Seventh-day Adventist Church at his racetrack. 
Welcome to the Los Alamitos SDA Church. Go visit their website. When you get to the home screen, click on About Us and then click on History. And right there you will read the Los Alamitos Adventist Group met for the first time in 2009. There were 20 people in attendance. Doctor Who, Dr. Edward Allred provided the what? The facilities and funding to get things started. And right there on their webpage is the smiling face of Dr. Allred. I called up and spoke with a church official at this church who told me that they are waiting for Dr. Allred to die so that they can get all of his money. Let me make something very clear. Edward Allred's money can burn in hell. The Adventist church does not need it and we don't want it. That my Adventist denomination would build a church at this man's horse racing track was simply too hard to believe. So I actually went there myself. This right here, my friends, this is undeniable physical. We have literally, we literally have concrete evidence. This is concrete evidence that cannot be argued. No church leader can cover this up. This can't be swept under the rug. You can't put this in some secret file uh, like the abortion file and hide it from everyone. This is physical, concrete, steel, real evidence that anyone can come and see. The name Adventist is here on a church built at a racetrack by one of the most famous horse gamblers in the entire North America. If you want to see that video, there is a link in the description box down below. And Governor Susana Martinez, she is the first Hispanic woman governor in the USA. Dr. Allred and his wife made contributions to her campaign, but Governor Martinez refused the money and sent it back to Allred and his wife because of his what? Because of his hateful racist remarks. Not only did she refuse his money, but also the wife's money as well. Simply being associated with this man was enough to refuse the money, but Adventist institutions not only accept the money, but boast about it and honor this man with plaques all over over their institutions. This is scandalous. Also, both Attorney General Patricia Madrid and Ambassador to the UN Bill Richardson also refused his money and said that Allred's racist comments were really despicable. In January 2013, Attorney David Reed published an article here pointing out the hypocrisy of an Adventist university honoring this notorious abortionist. A few days later, this disgusting website here criticized Mr. Reed for assailing, assailing Dr. Allred. And look at it says right here, they even defended his successful business of targeting minorities and killing children. You will notice though that nobody put their name to this article. Do you know why? Maybe because Dr. Edward Allred was a principal sponsor of Adventist Today. Well, would you look at this right here. Allred is listed on the Adventist Today advisory board here and here and here and here. Anyone who donates enough money to Adventist Today will be listed on the masthead of the magazine. They don't want anyone pointing out Dr. Allred's horrific crimes against humanity because he was their sponsor. The hypocrisy here is off the charts. They honor a man who violently attacked tortured and murdered thousands of children. I wouldn't pay money to have my boogers put on their masthead, but that is hypocrisy today. What about Spectrum Magazine? This waste of cyberspace publishes about women's rights, equality, yeah, equality and racism. But when La Sierra honors a notorious abortionist whose racist remarks have been denounced by multiple government leaders, Spectrum says, says, Nothing. You know why? Because Edward Allred has been a member of the Spectrum Advisory Council for over 20 years. In 1997, here, Allred was given a gold star next to his name. In 2001, he was given a diamond status, and by 2009, this bloody butcher was honored with lifetime recognition. According to a 2010 Tuskegee University research and a report by the Equal Justice Initiative, the KKK lynched an estimated 3,400 to 4,000 blacks. But Dr. Allred by himself, according to statistics, killed at least 87,500 black boys and girls. He killed 22 times more blacks than the KKK ever, and Spectrum magazine has heaped upon him every possible honor and given him lifetime recognition. So disgusting. On Sunday, March 18, 1979, Allred told the Fresno Bee newspaper, I don't mean to toot my horn, but it's safe to say that I have far more experience than anyone else in the USA in doing this particular thing. Toot toot! I don't mean to toot my horn, but I've murdered more innocent children than anyone else. Do you see that? It's right there in black and white in the public newspaper. He boasts of being the most prolific serial killer ever. So by the numbers, Dr. Gosnell killed 16,000 and Dr. Allred 250,000. Let's see, 250 divided by 16, that's equal to more than 15 or 16 Gosnells. Can you imagine any Christian institution honoring Philadelphia's abortion monster as their example, inspiration, or 
ambassador. And yet, that is exactly what my Adventist church has done over and over again. We Adventists are well known because we seek to observe the fourth commandment by keeping the seventh day Sabbath. My church says about the Sabbath right here that it is a delightful communion with God and one another. It is a symbol of our redemption. Where? In Christ. A sign of our what? Our sanctification. A token of our allegiance. Remember that word, our allegiance and a foretaste of our eternal future in God's kingdom. This is important to know because Dr. Allred stated here that Saturday is the most popular day for women to get abortions. At his Avalon clinic, more than 100 are done on the Sabbath, and that was at just one of his many clinics. The Bible says that the Lord hates the shedding of innocent blood. He hates it. We Adventists will go to church and we have the audacity to stand in God's church on God's holy day and to loudly sing praise the Lord. We are his commandment keeping people and we pat ourselves on the back that we are some really fine Christians and that Jesus is coming very soon to save all of us. All the while we openly and unashamedly support what Jesus hates. Our pro-abortion position, our history of not only supporting child murder but actually practicing it in our hospitals with the full approval of church leadership is an absolute abomination and disgrace. In the Adventist church, you can be disfellowshipped for smoking cigarettes or drinking a beer, but if you violently murder children, you are going to be celebrated and honored. We are the most disgusting hypocrites in all the world. There is simply, hands down, no competition. We are the greatest hypocrites. The reason that I'm making this video, the purpose of this video, is because it is necessary to give a public apology to all of my Catholic friends watching this video, to all of my Baptist, Methodist, Lutheran, Pentecostal friends, to all of the Hindus, Buddhists, Muslims. As a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in good standing, I want to say that I am very sorry that our church has allowed this to happen and continues to allow it to happen. I am not only speaking for myself, but for many Adventists who are appalled and sick by this absolutely disgusting behavior and this false witness from the leaders of the Adventist church and institutions. This is reprehensible. Both Christianity Today right here, the Christian Post, the Washington Post, and other news outlets have blasted the Adventist church for our rank and shameful hypocrisy. There is absolutely no, there is no excuse whatsoever for church leadership in North America or at the GC World Headquarters. Multiple international newspapers have on multiple times over a period of at least 30 years, they have blasted and humiliated our church publicly. Nobody can make the claim that they knew nothing. And look, published right here in our very own Adventist Review, in a report presented at the General Conference in session, who was honored for giving large donations to our church institutions? Edward Allred. Do you notice the problem here? The victim of a violent attempted murder who is handicapped with cerebral palsy for life because of this terrible crime, she goes around the world cheerfully, unashamedly, joyfully speaking for the Sixth Commandment. Our church has never apologized to this woman, but the man who tried to murder her, the man who tried to kill her, the man who murdered multiplied thousands of little children, not only is this blood money accepted and celebrated, but this disciple of Satan is honored of all places in the world at the Adventist Church's GC in session. And right here, when I published my video showing the church at the racetrack, I reported their desire to get Allred's money when he dies. And when I said that, many people contacted me and complained, and they said that I was a liar. I'm violating the ninth commandment and saying things that simply aren't true. Well, look at this right here. I published that video in August 2017, and people said that I was a liar. But look right here, just four months later after, this is after I published my video, the Orange County Register published an article right here stating, Allred has no direct heirs and said he plans to leave at least half of his money to who? To Seventh-day Adventist education causes. Undeniable, irrefutable evidence right there in black and white. Over the years, many Adventists within the church have repeatedly complained, writing thousands of letters, emails, and making untold number of phone calls protesting this abomination. Unfortunately, the leaders of the Adventist church, both in North America and at the GC in all of these years, have neither apologized for this appalling witness, nor have they taken any steps whatsoever to rectify this situation. Well-known evangelists and personalities in the church are well aware, they are very well aware of this, and they know that it's wrong, but they refuse to say anything and instead stand by and watch as the reputation of this church is dragged continually through this filth and slime. It is their job. Not only are 
are they being paid to say something, but it is their moral obligation. It is their God-given duty to be faithful shepherds, to act like men and speak out against this horrific evil. And because they have continually refused to do so or say anything, then it is incumbent upon lay members like myself to set the record straight. So again, I am very sorry and I'm very embarrassed I apologize for our support for the murder of children, for the practice of murdering children in our own hospitals, and for the reprehensible act of honoring abortionists like Dr. Allred. But an apology is simply not enough. There must be some consequence for these crimes. And so I pray, I pray that as an act of mercy, that God would judge my church, give us the gift of pain, and demonstrate that the kingdom of heaven will in no way, shape, form, or degree sanction the deliberate murder of innocent children. The Bible says that the Lord hates the shedding of innocent blood, and as a necessity, as a necessity to preserve the name and reputation of the Adventist Church, I pray that God will punish those responsible and by whatever means necessary, however painful, lead us to thorough repentance.